In the modern world of software development, continuous integration and continuous deployment are super important. In short, that's CI and CD, and you might have heard the term before, and you also might know some tools for that. But I would say the most common tool for CI CD is GitHub Actions. But have you ever thought of where the pipeline code is being executed? In today's video, we're going to take a closer look how we can self-host our GitHub Action Runner and actually own or uh, control the hardware where our GitHub action is being executed. Hey, I'm Marco, and if you're new to my channel, I'm a software developer with a focus on DevOps topics, and it would make my day if you subscribe to my channel. So why do you want to actually self-host the GitHub action runner and not use the ones provided by GitHub? A big topic is privacy and security. So for example, firewalls, special software packages, and whatsoever. Or you might need a custom build platform like Windows or Mac OS, or you just need a huge machine with 100 gigabytes of RAM. And with that requirements, you quickly come to the end of the GitHub action provided runners by GitHub. And so it makes sense for you to self-host the runner. But there's one thing you definitely should bear in mind. So when you self-host your runner, you definitely should do that for private repositories and never ever do that for public repositories. Even if you're the only one contributing to the public repository, it might be that someone is opening up a pull request and you have configured a GitHub action to run on pull requests. And the code which wants to be merged in your repository contains malicious code. And during the GitHub action process, that code is being executed on your own controlled machine. So it definitely makes sense to only use that for private repositories. That's a thing you should definitely consider. So first of all, head over to GitHub and we have to create a new private repository. So make sure to create a private repository. I name that GitHub action test and set that to private. I'll create the repository and the next thing you should do is head over to settings, go to the actions tab and click on the runners button. And on the top right, you can create a new self-hosted runner. And GitHub is providing you with all the needed information you need to know to install the runner on your machine. You have different choices here. You can run them on macOS with, a different, uh, with different architectures. You can run them on Linux machines with also different architectures and as well on Windows machines. So I'll go ahead and use the Linux machine and the x64 uh, architecture. And for that, I need a Linux machine. And in my case, I'm just creating a quick digital ocean droplet here, a uh, quite cheap one. And if you want to try that as well, I put a referral link down in the description below so you can try that out. You will get $200 free of credits for 60 days. And um, I'll also get a little commission, but free of charge for you. And I create the droplet here. And during the time the droplet is being created, I install them on my macOS machine. The runner so you can see that it's working on different platforms as well in your github action then so go back to mac os you can just copy the commands here so we'll create a folder then go into that folder and then we'll download the latest action runner package we can validate the hash then if everything is all right and i get get an okay and then we can extract the installer after that is done, we have to configure our runner on our macOS machine to communicate to the GitHub Action repository. And therefore we have to start the config script and connect it with our GitHub Action repository. So the authentication is running, connected to GitHub, the runner registration, enter the name of the runner. Um, I just press enter for default, enter the name. This is my MacBook Pro here. Um, I can give different labels, for example, self-hosted or macOS or x64, uh, which are the defaults. So I just press enter to skip. And we have successfully added our runner. I just press enter again to use the default work directory and the settings are now saved. And now we have configured our runner and now we have to start it. And then the connection from our machine to our GitHub repository is being initiated. So we are now connected to GitHub and our current runner version is the 2314.1 and our runner is waiting for jobs to be executed. So let's quickly refresh the page and see if our runner is running and we have the connection to our MacBook Pro here. And in the meantime, our droplet 
was started and we can do the exact same thing on the Linux machine to have a working connection here. And easy as that, we have two working runners in our repository. So in order to now use the self-hosted GitHub Action runners, we need to write our own GitHub Actions file and say that we want to use our self-hosted runners. And that is actually quite easy to do. So we go back to the repository and we'll just go to the Actions tab and we will create a simple workflow and start with the template here and the only thing we have to change now or to adapt is the runs on line so we just have to type self minus hosted and easy as that our self hosted runners are being used for the github actions pipeline so i commit the changes here uh, blank dot yml and because the default is uh, to being to be executed on push i'll just go back to the actions tab and we see that we have a new commit here uh, the create blank and uh, the build file is being executed and the setup job that we can see that the runner name Marcus MacBook Pro was chosen and the connection did work so let's check the build output here so the one line script uh, hello world and run a multi-line script uh, and another action step to build here and easy as that our code is being executed on our own machines let's check the console log of our uh, macbook here and we see that we have a running job which has the name build and the job build completed with the result succeeded and now in order to not use the macbook pro here as our build pipeline we have to change a label in our uh, github actions file so go back to the actions file click the edit button so edit this file in place and the runs on uh, will change that from self-hosted to linux because when you go back into the console of the linux machine you can see that the label is uh, linux but with a capital l, capital capital l so i'll just change that commit my changes and we we'll go back to the actions tab we see the new uh, action is being triggered here and let's check the logs the job is being started and the runner which was chosen was the ubuntu uh, virtual server on digital ocean so what you can do now is to install any special packages on your server which you need in your pipeline for example docker or node.js or whatsoever whatever you need to build your code or to run your tests or to run any thing in your GitHub Action Pipeline. Um, that's very cool. That's super nice and super easy. So you're now in control of your Action Pipeline. And you guys can let me know in the comments if you've ever thought about running your deployment pipelines in your own on your own hardware and not on the GitHub Action hardware, which is provided by you with some limits. And once again, I would be more than happy if you subscribe to my channel and catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye.